Hey guys, it's uh, a bit of a special video for today uh, because I'm headed out to pick up a Power Mac G5 and uh, it's not an ordinary G5 but it's a G5 Quad. This is actually the second one that I'm picking up. The first one was uh, partially broken, all in pieces and it turns out that uh, well, once I was able to make, to make it run again, to make it post again, one of the CPUs was bad and uh, they are pretty much impossible to find and it's in the end it's actually cheaper to buy another machine which is what I'm doing right now this time though it should be all working all together and even with uh, an added graphics card uh, the seller posted photos of the back and I, I did notice in the top slots there was the uh, NVIDIA 6800, the, the, the typical GPU you'd get with a G5. But on the, on the slot number, inside slot number one, which is where the GPU uh, would be, there was a card with uh, uh, two DVI ports and one uh, probably S-Video in the center. Now the fact that it's in the center is actually quite crucial because the G5 Quad is the only PCI Express G5 and the number of graphics cards available for it are uh, it, it, it's extremely limited. There were a couple of offerings from NVIDIA, three of them, the uh, Quadro FX4500, the 7300 GT, which was a retail option, and the 6800, uh, both in uh, 6800 and 6800 LE, which was the one that shipped with the entry level two gigahertz. Uh, model and on the red team there was just one card which is the uh, X1900 GT which is also a, a retail card and I think that the, the, the machine I'm picking up today does indeed have uh, that card which uh, would be quite interesting it's the first time that I'm seeing it it's fairly hard to find uh, if it's the original uh, Mac version, of course, since only uh, it was a third-party option only, uh, there is not an original Apple card, so it, it will probably have some stickers and other things on it. But I'm still quite interested in uh, taking a look at that card. I know that also the the RAM has been upgraded quite a bit. It's running uh, for it's uh, yeah four and a half gigs of RAM. So, uh, well, the machine originally shipped with uh, 512, I think. So, four gigs were added to it. And hopefully the, the cooling system is good. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll try and make sure that everything is fine, since G5s are pretty much, they were bugged and flawed from, from the day they left the factory. But I'm hoping that this one would be a, uh, this will be it. This will be the G5 I've, I've been looking for for quite some time. So I'm now headed to pick it up. Uh, we'll probably resume the video once I load the beast in uh, in my car. So we'll uh, we'll see you soon. All right. So here's the G5 in all its glory, and I took a quick peek inside, and I think. Not only it has the high-end uh, ATI card, but it also has a uh, NVIDIA 7300 GT. So this should be a pretty high-end uh, machine. It's pretty much uh, the, the best that you could get uh, without shelling out absurd amount of money for a uh, for a Quadro. That is. So I'll bring it back home and uh, I'll take a deeper look at it. So the Mac is finally home and uh, um, I didn't resist and I've already cleaned it and I've already checked the um, liquid cooling system and it's fine. And the big surprise came with the graphics cards. Um, I didn't look inside when I picked it up. Actually, I did take a slight peek, but uh, the, the, big, the big surprise is that it's running the um, NVIDIA. It has the dedicated NVIDIA 70, what, 7800 GT, always forget the names. Not only as the ATI card, which I saw from the outside, you can see the I.O., 
but it also has the um, Nvidia one, so it already came with a pretty high-end graphics card. Um, you can see that there is no uh, connector here for the um, 3D glasses, but there is the there is the um, empty space for right here, where the Quadro, which is the card that I've uh, installed uh, right now, just for benchmarking, it does have it right there in the corner there it is so that's why I thought this would have been the uh, lower end uh, 6800 because I didn't see the connector and I thought that it was also present uh, either for the 3d glasses or for S video on the um, 7800 so as I said before I did run some benchmarks because I wanted to know which one of the three was the fastest and uh, to my surprise the Radeon is actually faster than the Quadro just by a tiny bit. If we look at the results, the uh, 7800 scores 9000 points, the Quadro does 15700 and about 200 points more for the um, Radeon. So it's not that much uh, faster but it's faster nevertheless. Uh, another interesting thing is that the um, this cooling system only has one pump and I thought that um, all G5 quads had uh, dual pump systems like my other one right there but this one here only has one there are no leaks and it seems to be working fine so I'm not too worried uh, this is might actually be the later version I know they made they made several uh, several of them and this is definitely not the first one um, there are three uh, tubes going in, there's one on the top and two on the bottom, and there's actually a T right here. So it's probably, it's probably using the same rad as the dual pump version, but only with uh, a single pump. So I don't know if this is actually the um, last revision of the system, or if it's an in-between and this one here is uh, the last one. Uh, according to a service manual, this is version 1 and this is version 2. So that leads me to believe that this is actually the, the later version. But uh, honestly, I don't know, because this is actually, um, this is leaking just a tiny bit, while this one here is still fine. And uh, I did look in the um, system profiler and there was a hardware test logged in uh, 2007. So I think that some work has been done to this machine in 07. And I don't know if they swapped the CPU or if they replaced the power supply, which uh, both things were fairly common on uh, on late 2005 G5s. So, um, uh, I'm actually really happy with, um, with what I got. It's a sweet machine, it's in beautiful condition. Um, the Actually, the owner was... Um, uh, actually, his mom sold it. Uh, the owner, his son, uh, uses Max for photo editing, and this one here was his sold computer. When he upgraded uh, a while back, he gave this uh, to his mom, and he was using this monster of a thing for writing recipes out of all things. So it was definitely <laughs> put to good use. But um, it's still running fine. He also gave me the power cord, which is uh, fairly important for these machines, since they use a um, they use a 16 amp plug. It's uh, not like um, the typical uh, 10 amp one found on uh, uh, normal computers. And uh, as for the temperatures, uh, just for logging, it's now running. Pretty nicely, even under load, CPUA does remain uh, slightly hot, but uh, CPUB is fine. Uh, I don't know if that needs to be calibrated or if it's uh, just starting to clog up, but um, it doesn't seem to be that critical. And the machine is running, which is uh, uh, which is great. So uh, probably I'll have more videos about this machine in the upcoming future. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned.